the Orlando Sentinel. He can deal a full house, four aces, whatever you want, and make it look as if it were all a coincidence. He'll even let you cut the deck, shuffle the cards, deal the hand, and he'll get a full house. I've got three nines. Three nines is a wagering hand. That's right. So I've already bet on mine. Right. What you got over there? I've got four kings. You shuffled, you dealt, you dealt from the middle, right? Yeah. What's that card? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah. The Dallas Times Herald. Richard Turner has a feel for cards. Ask him to cut 28, and he casually picks off exactly 28. It's all done by feel. 10, 11, 12. Wow. 12 cards, huh? My daughter's birthday today, I'm going to say 17. Oh, I say, yeah. you're sure? 17. I said, I said, see that 17 cards. All right. 1, 2, 3, 14, 15, 16, 17. Something about. That's 5, that's 6, that's 7. I will say 19. Twenty-one. Try that. That feels like twenty-one. Seventy. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. And twenty-one. Richard's touch was sought after by many of the organized crime families who pursued him with million-dollar offers to cheat in high-stake poker games. Richard shares how he was trained and armed by the police department to protect himself. Because of these skills, I could be a very rich dead man. <laughs> During the 80s, my notoriety with the cards began spreading to the ears of the underworld, and I've been wined and dined by some of the most powerful crime families in the country. I had this one mobster. After seeing what I could do, he says, we'll give you a grand a day to come work for us. I said, no thanks. He said, 2K a day. Lightly refused. He said, how much will it cost to buy you? I instantly had visions of waking up with a horse's head lying next to me. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't want to put my life in the hands of people who have permanent ways of dissolving temporary business relationships. <laughs> Richard's blindness brought about a heightened sense of touch, a touch so sensitive he is on retainer with the world's largest card manufacturer as their touch analyst. As long as they stay on the table. Oh, there we go. It's the old-fashioned way. Gonna cut. <laughs> Very good. Random card shuffled in by Ian. Uh, Ian, I'm gonna try cutting a card from the center of the deck. Ian, what was your card? Eight of hearts. Are you sure it was an ace of hearts? Eight of Eight hearts. Eight of hearts. What is that? Eight of hearts. <laughs> Eight of hearts. How many have been tipped off that I see with my mind and my fingers? Anybody here? Yep. Yeah. A few. Okay. <laughs> okay. For those that don't know, my vision started going south when I was nine. And I have to admit, having vision no better than the cartoon character Mr. Magoo can be very entertaining. Like watching as I stop trees, car doors, solid brick buildings with my bare head. <laughs> my wife is so immune to me running into things, I went to answer the phone, ran square into the corner of a wall, split my head wide open, I started gushing blood. She looked up from her book and said, now that one had to hurt. <laughs> when you get off the phone, wipe up the blood. <laughs> I was on the driving range. I didn't realize each time I put my ball down, I made a slight adjustment to the left. Instead of shooting at 12 o'clock, I was shooting at 9 o'clock, right towards the pro shop. And there's a guy down there yelling and screaming. I didn't know he was yelling at me going, what the blankety blank are you doing? Are you crazy? Bam, as I drove another two-inch bullet right towards his face. <laughs> a few years ago, when my son was about seven, we were at a restaurant. He had to go to the bathroom. We both sided up to a pair of urinals. And I was being my normal goofy self, and I was looking over him and down, going, oh, I love to pee and get the pee out of me, when all of a sudden I hear this little voice and a tap from behind go, um, Dad, I finished. That's another man you're singing. <laughs> I like to make sure my I like to make sure my shirt is neatly tucked in before a show. I went off in what I thought was a corner by myself. I didn't realize there was a little lady on the floor cleaning floor length windows. I walked right up to her face, undid my buckle, started unzipping my zipper. Fortunately I was saved by my wife who walked out just in time and she said, You probably don't realize there's a little lady on the floor watching your zipper coming down with a very concerned expression. <laughs> 
when I was 18, I came up with a great idea for the blind and deaf driver. And Rick Geisler will remember this. I bought a motorcycle. I would drive. My deaf friend Roy would tell me where to go. Right, left, red light, green light. It worked real well until one day we were pulled over for armed robbery. We fit the profile to a T except for two minor details. The getaway driver wasn't blind, his accomplice wasn't deaf. <laughs> Once we proved to the cops that we couldn't see the lights flashing or hear the siren blowing, I received a ticket for driving while blind, and they let me drive on. <laughs> let's do one last round One here. last round. Let's and let's, let's put all the marbles on oh, the table, all the candy in the pot right $1, here. $1,000. $1,005. Right. Okay, you okay. seem to like the deuces. Flip a deuce. Flip a deuce when I say go, and you get that money. Ready? On your marks and set, go. Flip a deuce. Now, go. Turn them all over. What are they? What do you have? Aces. Look under here. Look under here. When the money gets big, I cheat. <laughs> you owe me $500. Oh, you got the money. Thank you very much. Don't worry, ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the one and only Richard Turner. It's true about Richard's eyesight there. Uh, it started to go south when he was about nine years old, and now it's basically it's all gone. He can occasionally see some shadows every once in a while, and that's about it. A lot of people will play a whole evening with him and not even know that he can't see. Uh, as a matter of fact, every once in a while people tumble to it. As a matter of fact, one guy who was a sore loser decided that he was going to get his money back from poor Mr. Blind Man, and uh, at the end of the evening jumped Richard in the parking lot. And uh, that's when that guy discovered Richard has a fifth degree black belt in karate. It's a true story, eh? What do you think about when you're in the ring against that many guys? I hope my wind holds up because if you go 10 three minute rounds, it's not like a boxer. A boxer, you know, this is the same guy getting tired. This is a fresh guy every round and it's rough. Now, now the final point you're legally blind. Yeah, and I don't see very well either. Well, how could you possibly fight? I don't know. Find out. <laughs> Sit and watch. Virtually blind Turner earns black belt. Richard Turner was left virtually blind at the age of nine when he contracted scarlet fever. Ever since, he has been able to see only out of the corners of his eyes. On Wednesday, he earned a black belt in karate by fighting a series of three minute bouts against 10 different opponents, each of whom was fresh. By the time the test was completed, Turner's hair was matted to his skull and it was a wonder he could hear having Sha shouted at him for nearly an hour. But it wasn't his eyes or his ears that were a source of concern. It was his hands. When the test was done, friends eased him into the mat to remove the gloves and tape protecting his hands. The hands are really the essence of Richard Turner, who is called Rick by his pals. They are remarkable hands, hands any surgeon would be proud to affix to his wrists. Hands with a tolerance for two milligrams or two one thousandths of an inch. Hands that can unerringly pluck the ace from a deck and have made him one of the world's greatest card dealers sensitive hands that could be deadly to any unsuspecting person who challenged him to a fight. Discipline is the keynote of his life and he acquired it through his martial arts training. That discipline provided the patience for up to 14 hours a day of practice with cards, honing his delicate fingers to their present state of dexterity and sensitivity. He prepared himself as a boxer, runner, gymnast and dancer. It was the most concentrated thing he ever attempted he tortured himself with workouts that elevated his heartbeat to the 180 level for an hour at a stretch. Still, he was nervous as he awaited his test. As long as they don't take me away in an ambulance, I'll be happy, Turner had said. You know, karate is a sport based on vision. It's a full-sighted person's art. I can only see peripherally, but I'm an overachiever and I wouldn't have traded what I have with anyone.